Look at that, guys. That's the product we're going to talk about today. It's the Thule covered DSLR backpack, and it's insane. Hi guys, what's up? Uh, welcome to the channel. Uh, my name is Manuel and um, I'm going to cover uh, a lot of like filmmaking related and photography related topics here on this channel. So um, I hope I can tell you like a lot of interesting things. Um, yeah, like as my friends know me and my family and also my girlfriend, like I have a crazy obsession with backpacks, like a really, really crazy obsession. Um, I go into stores, into the backpack section and I just open zippers and look at compartments and like try them on and like how they fit and everything um, but I'm actually happy because I found out that I'm not the only one with this I don't know tick or like disease is it a disease I don't know um, because I'm watching like shout out to Chase Reeves or like Boys Mono um, or Pack Hackers uh, like I'm watching literally every single video of them on their channel um, because I don't know like backpacks just symbolizes freedom to me like you have everything that you need on your back with you all the time that's like i don't know that's like something in my brain that tells me this is a good thing so that's why maybe i'm i'm so like into backpacks um yeah if you look into backpacks like people have their own preferences so you have like these techies that need their technical stuff uh, they need little compartments for their dongles and the like, cables and all that stuff then you have guys like chase reese by the way like his channel is awesome check it out if you don't know it if you also want to see backpacks like a lot of backpacks and um, he has like this preference where he likes um this one bag travel thing like he wants one backpack to travel like on the airplane and then if you get to your destination you also use this backpack as a day pack and um, that's also what i really really like and i also have like other backpacks that are for this but for me now i was looking for a backpack that holds my camera stuff like basically a camera backpack that I can use for the day that has enough space to also care other stuff but I also need this backpack to go like on the airplane to go like in the what do you say overhead compartment like a carry-on and um, to also hold like clothes for like two or three days so all these things were like specific points that I was looking on the internet and everywhere and um, yeah I found a few backpacks in the following videos I'm going to show you all of them and I'm going to show you why I like them and also the things that I don't really like about them um, but you can be sure that all the backpacks I'm going to show you are already like the top of the top backpacks that I found for my purpose and I think there are many people out there that also are searching for exactly the same purpose that, uh, that I was looking for. So no further to do, today we're looking at the Tula covered DSLR backpack. Yeah, as I already mentioned, like I was looking for exactly a backpack that holds comfortably, com com comfort, no, sorry, I'm like German, like that easily holds all my camera gear and um, has enough space to also hold other stuff that I need, like when I'm like in, in Munich, like I'm from Munich. Um, if you're like in the streets and you want to do like some photos and you just need to carry like other stuff as well. But one more thing, because I'm like, Full employed like I have a regular job and um, I also need this bag to go with me to the office like I need this to be my office bag so it needs to have like a really good like laptop compartment and also like the tech guys just like a few dongles I have like literally two dongles like that's all all right um back to the backpack uh, let's look at the material the material is like bomb proof like it's literally one of the best materials that I've ever seen on, on a backpack is, I don't know, like all the other guys, they already always know what kind of material it is. Like, is it like Fudura? Is it like ballistic nylon? Is it like a bulletproof vest? Like this one actually feels like it is really, really like rugged. And um, the whole backpack is covered with this material. It's like little, little, I don't know what it is, like little, yeah, like mesh, like really tight mesh. And um, it's like super water repellent, so the water doesn't get in. Um, it's all covered, just on the bottom, you see. It has like a even more durable, bulletproof material, 
whatever. I don't know. I don't know what's it called. Like, look it up if you're interested in this. For me, it's just important that it's like doesn't break. Like when I slide it behind a car or whatever, I throw it out of a bus. Um, yeah. So material, awesome. Like super, super awesome material. Then the straps. The straps are sick as well. Like honestly, like the straps are really, really good. Um, they're comfortable. They're padded. Um, but not too much like they're not too bulky like these hiking backpacks um, I don't like it too much if you have like a backpack this size and then you have like a pad that goes like up to here Like I don't like that too much, um, but these pads are good. They're really really good You have this load shifter up here so you can like uh, Get the top of the backpack like closer to your body or uh, by the way um, that makes sense because the backpack goes like up really high if it's like all loaded But I'm gonna show you that and so it's nice to get like the top of the backpack near to your to your back. It has a sternum strap. I'm not a big fan of sternum straps. Um, I basically just use a sternum strap if I'm like on a really really long walk. Um, otherwise, I just think that it's like always in the way of these ones you cannot take off. I have backpacks where I literally cut them off, but I regret it in the end. So uh, this one just stays stays on. Um, yeah, the back padding also really good. It's just like in the middle not on the side and um, yeah it's like super good comfortable um, it's not a hiking bag like it's 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 fine and uh, one special thing with this bag I think why it's so comfortable is like because it has like a really long torso length like the backpack in general is like pretty long like it's you will see when it's packed later it's like really narrow is it narrow yeah I hope it's narrow like really narrow but it's really high and that always gives you like a really good like carrying feeling like it feels really good and also one thing that it has if you open here it has like I don't know like a built-in plate like a hard plastic plate so the whole back piece is like really really rugged like it even if it's empty like it will keep this shape and that I think is why this feels really good to carry all right so now we have the harness system, we have the materials. Um, now I'm gonna show you the different compartments that this backpack has. And um, yeah, it's divided basically into half and half. So the lower half is where your camera goes and the upper half is where everything else goes. Before we go dive into that, like I wanna show you, it also has a bottle holder. Like a bottle, yeah, bottle holder. Um, it's really big, like you can open this with this I don't know how you call them, like opener, like I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm German, like I don't know all these all these words, like an opener closer. Um, if you open it all the way, it has like a ton of space for like a really big bottle, because also here on the side it has like a, it has like a mesh, a stretchy mesh material, so the bigger bottle you put in, the more it stretches it out. But if you have nothing inside, you can also cinch it down and uh, close close this thing so it's like sticking to the back and it like gives it like a really low profile that's love that really good um up here you have also like a compression strap so you can compress or if you, you really use it as a com uh, like a camera bag which i would recommend is if you put a tripod in here like you can put two legs in here so it sticks up to here like i can show you because i'm obviously filming on my tripod and um, then you can close it here and you can carry your tripod. It works really, really good. Um, I normally don't really care uh, use a carry a tripod. I use my gimbal. Um, this, by the way, is the Fiutech AK2000, which I'm gonna review like in the next couple of days as well. It's like a really, really pro, like cheap but really good gimbal. Like compared to to the Zion or to the to the. Ronan S is like a really cheapy, but it works really good. Um, yeah, you can use it. Just put down the legs. You put it in here, and then you just cinch it down with this strap. There it is, and it basically holds like really good. Yeah, you just need to configure it like how you want to, but it it works really good. Um, the handle, like handle, is always like a really big thing. Like Chase Reeves, you should see his videos. Like he preaches that he can detect the quality of a backpack just by touching the handle. And in the beginning, I thought like, what the hell is he talking about? But after you touch a few backpacks and you use them for a while, like 
you really understand what he says, like a handle. Like you have so much contact with, like with this handle and it feels, if it feels good, like you instantly like the backpack, if it feels like not good. Um, I don't know, you have like a special relationship to your backpack because like the handle already like gives you a weird feeling. This one is like really minimalistic, it's just like, I don't know, seat belt, like folded seat belt. Um, but I personally, I like that more than if it's like padded as crazy because it like, I don't know, it's like weak shit, like it's, it should be like this, yeah. There's maybe a little bit more padding, but uh, not too much. Definitely not too much for for handles. All right, then in the front, the backpack also has like a front flap, which by the way is awesome if you also like, I don't know, if you want to go to the beach or whatever and you want to carry like a towel or something, you can also stick it like through, through here. So it gives you like additional space, which I use it like a lot for. Um, it's secured by these two buckles which in my opinion is, I don't know, it looks good, like it's, it looks really good if it's secured with these buckles, but I don't know, they built like these buckle things like so far into the material that sometimes like it's really hard to like reach in here with your finger, you always have to press it up a bit to reach in here and to open, to open the buckle like, and you know, this is like where the tech compartment is. So like if, if I'm driving on the train or somewhere and I just want to get like some of my power bank or whatever, you always have to like open the whole thing like ch ch it's annoying like that's I don't know the access is, is not really good um, yeah opening the tech compartment you have three pockets one two three the, the lower one is the biggest you open it is with the velcro it has like a lot of space a lot of space in these pockets you know and um, the good thing is the good thing is even if the bag is like really full even if you filled it up to the maximum um, these pockets have like a own dimension so that means you can still always it doesn't matter how full the bag is you can always fit something inside and that is a really really good thing because looking at the one zipper behind it yeah this one is a pocket that goes like inside the backpack and if the backpack is full I tell you you cannot even put your finger inside here because it's like so cramped like you can put maybe I don't know like your passport maybe fits in there um, so this one is like where you maybe your Kindle. So this is like just for flat items. Yeah, the zippers are they're wacky case zippers. So this one is a small one. You will see the top one is a bigger one. They work really good. Wacky case, like I think Japanese or something like the best zipper brand. So you don't have to worry about these zippers. And yeah, you have two more pockets up here. It's the same like the lower one, just um, a bit smaller. This is good to hold like I don't know like your wallet or whatever. And then the top one, it's the same problem like this one. So it also goes inside the bag. So if you have this loaded up with clothes or whatever, it's really hard to get like, yeah, to get like into this pocket. But this pocket has like some organization to it. It has two bigger pockets um, and like pen holder and all this stuff uh, that you need. Like, I don't know, key holder. Like I've never put like a key on a key holder in my whole life ever before. Um, but like some people do that and um, it's nice that it has something for these type of people. Um, yeah, pen holder is everything that you need. Um, it's just nice to have a little little organization. Um, but I'm more the type of guy that has pouches to have like all my tech gear inside a pouch and then to throw it in a backpack so I can just change backpacks or whatever I, I need to. Um, yeah, then let's go to the top compartment. It's also secured by two buckles. It's the same thing like down here. It's nice because you can use these buckles to also maybe have a tripod this length wise and just cinch it down and it holds really good. Um, opening the buckles, these ones are nice because you can reach them easily, not like these ones. So Tula, this is like, I don't know, a bit of too much work to always open the compartment. So you open them. It's a roll top. So you roll it. And this is how the top looks like. It's also secured with a zipper, a big, uh, a bit bigger zipper. And then it reveals, it's hard to show you guys. It reveals like the big sack. Yeah, this is where you store like all your other stuff. Um, as I said, the zipper is, is, is really good. The flap is really good. I mostly just like flap it like once and then just clip it, but you can also like, you can also roll stuff. Uh, I get a call, just one second. Alright guys, sorry, uh, I just got a call. 
Um, yeah, so the top compartment, um, yeah, it holds all your other stuff, everything. It's really good, it's roll top. Um, the backpack, I think, is like super water resistant, not waterproof, like always. It's just water resistant, like waterproof is you put it underneath water and it doesn't come in, so that's not the case, um, but it's like really water resistant. The only thing with this with this top part here is that the opening is like super, super small. And I don't know like if they could not design it differently or like did they not think about it, but this opening is like way too small for the stuff that you want to put inside. Like you will see later when I sh when I load this back, uh, like I have to use packing cubes with my clothes and everything. And it's always a hassle to become like to get this packing cube inside this backpack. So um, I wish they would have just like other backpacks with the with the roll top opening, just a bigger opening. But yeah, that's like one of the bummers of this bag. All right, so that's the top part. Um, now let's get to the camera part. And uh, as you already saw here on the side, yeah. So this side has a water bottle and this side has a quick opening, it goes like around. And this is a quick opening for your ICU. I don't know if it's called ICU and everything, but like for the Epsilon backpacks it's called ICU, like internal camera uh, unit, ICU unit, yeah. Um, and this is what basically holds your camera stuff. Um, it's not too big. But for me, like I'm shooting on the Sony A6300, uh, so uh, APC sensor camera. So this is like enough for me. Like I have two lenses. Um, by the way, shout out to uh, James Matthews, my favorite YouTuber. Um, the two lens theory is, I don't know. That's 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 what yeah that gets me going. Like two lens, mm, you can do everything with two lenses. So this is basically everything that I need. Um, it's like really nice padded, you can use it outside, it has like a, a handle, so if you close it, you can also put it somewhere, store it somewhere, and use this backpack as a normal backpack, so it's really easy to open it, you take the camera unit out, and you can use this to go like uh, shopping to the beach, uh, horseback riding, I don't know what the stuff you guys do. Um, yeah, the camera unit goes inside, it's, yeah, it's also not so hard to get it inside, I know other backpacks are like way harder. Um, and in the opening flap you have like a, another zipper where you can store like little SD cards or like... Ah, I was looking for this one since such a long time, like it's like a lens cleaning cloth. I'm gonna forget it, never mind. Uh, SD cards, batteries, whatever you need in here. Um, if you open this thing, you can open like a velcro, a velcro thing here. You put it inside. Close it, and now every time you open this thing, it's already open, and like your camera is like accessible. Because this is like the quick access, which is a supreme point for this camera backpack. Is when you're like in the city, I don't know, like trying to shoot something, and uh, you don't have your camera always with you, and then you see something, I don't know, somebody tripped and is like full of blood, or you see a crazy animal, or whatever. Like, you just go here, open it, get your camera. See that the battery is empty, take a new battery, change the battery, take a photo, and then you can put it back in within like seconds or minutes. Depends how quick you are. So this is like a sick feature, like I love this feature and I think every camera backpack should have this feature. It's really, really good. Um, another thing that is really good at this backpack is if you open this, like you can see all the way down there, you can see the camera cube. And you know, sometimes when I do like also one bag travel, so I use this bag to go somewhere else, like for, I don't know, to Amsterdam for three days or something, I also put in like a lot of clothes. And I always hate the idea that like all these clothes push on my camera cube, so it gets like squished. And Dula also got you covered for this one. They have in here, like a divider, like a divider material. And you can just zip it around and as it's too dark like it's a dark hole i cannot show you but you literally zip it around and um, the dividing material sits like exactly at the top of the camera cube so the all the stuff that you load up in the, in, in, in the top compartment is not going to push on the camera cube which is sick like sick you will see 
other really big brand for like camera backpacks, uh, really pricey bags, uh, they don't have this feature and I think it's a no-brainer. Like if I would design a bag, I would definitely think about something that like my ICU, my internal camera unit doesn't get squished. Like that is a no-brainer for me. They have it. Sick. Really, really good. Um, now for my office stuff, also really important is that like these bags have like a good laptop compartment and Tula, this one, it has, it has a really, really good laptop compartment. Um, you open it up, like it's really padded from both sides. Uh, you can fit in, I don't know, you probably can fit in like a PS4. It's like really big, it opens really wide. Um, but you can also fit in like your 15 inch MacBook Pro, the stuff that you got there. Um, next to it is like a Kindle or a iPad. Uh, compartment. I don't really use that. It's just like for my, I don't know, like tickets for wrong parking or whatever. I just throw in there. Um, so laptop compartment really good. I like it that you can access your access. You have access to your laptop from the outside, which is really good. Some other backpacks, I don't know, I hate it when they have it like inside. Like you always have to like crunch through all your stuff, like get your laptop out, and then like you will never ever get it back in. Like you have to like rearrange and I hate that so this is a nice thing that is like always accessible from the outside um, yeah these are basically some down here you have like some attachment things if you need to hook in your shoes or whatever like you can use that um, yeah so overall I think this bag fulfills like a lot of stuff and I'm gonna show you like how much other stuff you can load in there additional to your camera stuff and I have a pack packing cube, like I always travel with these ones. I don't know, like it's amazing, like you can open this and uh, yeah, if I collect my laundry in here and I open it, like I always fall into a coma because it holds so much like stuff and that's good for traveling. So when I travel, I said like for a three day trip, I don't know, like I have uh, three, four shirts, I have like uh, undies, socks. I don't want to show them, they're like fucking embarrassing. So I'll just keep them in here, trust me. I have a sweater in there. Um, basically the clothes for three days. I have long pants in here, everything. I'm gonna show you how it looks. As I told you, it's a little bit fiddly to get this thing in here. Like, you know, like, it could be so easy. Just open it all the way to the side, have a little bit more space with the, with the zipper and it would be easy. But this one, uh, you have to fill it. See, already takes longer than I wanted to take, yeah? All right, it's inside. Then I'll always turn it a bit. I'm gonna show you in a second. Ooh. All right, it's inside. See so if you take a look. It's inside. And you still now have space for like, I don't know, your wash stuff, maybe um, other pair of shoes, no, never tra travel. Short travel with the other pair of shoes, it just takes away too much space. But like your wash pouch, uh, I don't know, like some other shit. You take stuff, you just put in here, it's fine. Um, but you see, you can use this one as a one day, one day travel backpack. No, not one day, like you can use it as a one day backpack for your video and photo stuff. But you can also go away on holidays for like three days and have everything with you. That is insane. That is really good. You just cinch it up, you close it, you put in your tripod, whatever, you put in your camera stuff, you take in your tech stuff, you close this, and then this is a really solid backpack. One thing, if it's loaded, you'll see already, it doesn't stand. It's like, I don't know, I hate backpacks that don't stand. Like, why do you have to design the bottom with a slope? Like, why? I don't understand. Why can you not make it flat so it would stand? No, it has to be a slope. Tula does that, many other didn't do that too, so it doesn't stand, so you always have to lean it against your shin, which looks insane, stupid, and it's always annoying because the backpack always falls. And mostly you have your tech stuff in front, so it's not so cool if it always falls. Yeah, not a downside, but in total the back is sick. All right, now I'm gonna show you why I'm sending this backpack back, or why I'm selling it, and why I chose the other one, which I'm gonna show you in one of the next videos. If you put the backpack on, 
if it's fully loaded, like now it's not 100% loaded, but like if you have your tripod, if you have more clothes, if you have everything in there, the straps are good. Like, don't get me wrong, the straps are really good. The back panel is really good. But if you go like to other city and you go like, I don't know, with the train or with the airplane or whatever, and you use the back for the first whole day to do sightseeing, to go shooting, if you cannot go like into your hostel, into your hotel, I don't know where you sleep, under the bridge or wh whatever, and you can put away like some stuff, you're gonna carry it the whole day. And literally this already destroyed like some of my troubles because like I carry this the whole day and my shoulders are dying, like they're dying. I get a headache the next day because like everything is like, I don't know, closed up. I don't know if you know this, but it's just too heavy. Like this bag is heavy, even if it's empty. It's like, I don't know, like two point something kilograms because the materials are good, yeah, it's really good. But if you load it up, like this bag is insanely heavy, yeah. And in my opinion, like a bag this size, you need a waist strap or a waist belt or a strap that gets you like the weight of the backpack on your hips. You definitely need that. This bag doesn't have it. So that's why I cannot use it for the stuff that I wanted to anymore because I want one bag that does it all. This one almost does it all. So it's a sick bag, but it's missing waist straps. And waist straps are also like, I'm not talking about like these super huge hiking waist straps. I'm talking about like easy waist strap, but just to get like the weight, it's not the biggest backpack, just to get the weight from this backpack onto your hips. And that's like why I'm selling this one. So yeah, and I'm gonna show you in one of the next videos of which backpack I chose and why I chose the other one. And I also ordered like a shitload of other backpacks. I'm gonna show you them as well and I'd also tell them why I didn't choose them. But this one, Tula covered DSLR, I would say 95% sick backpack but not a hundred and I'm just looking for the hundred. All right, guys, take care. Uh, I'm gonna see you in the next video. And um, I don't know, also check check out like James Matthews, like he's a sick YouTuber, my favorite. Uh, and also the other, like uh, also the other YouTube channels, like from the backpack guys, like insane. And I wanna greet uh, my friends, they're just in Thailand right now. And they asked me for backpacks, but yeah, I just, like, shitty recommendations so I think they're dying I think they're already dead because their shoulders broke guys take care see you in the next one bye